Hello, plant tribe. We're doing something new today. <clears throat> so, as you can see, this isn't done. And I'm not surrounded by plants. But, I will be. We're trying something fun and different today. And uh, I'm winging this. I don't know how this is going to turn out. So, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to try it. So, hi. Welcome. <laughs> if you are new here, this is not my normal jam. <laughs> this is just something weird and fun that I thought I would try. It could be cool or it could turn into a total crap show. Let's, let's find out. <laughs> Anyways, so for those of you who are new, hi, hello, I'm Nikki. This is my channel, Plants, Pots, and Whatnots. And for those of you who are returning, you're going, what are you doing, Nikki? I don't know, guys. Anyway, uh, so what I thought we would do today is last year I watched a Rob Beauty Christie video where she painted this whole cool jungle look around her face and I have been thinking about it ever since. <laughs> and so today I thought I'd try it. <laughs> I don't know why, because I thought it would be fun. So let's just find out. I'm feeling very naked right now. <laughs> anyway, so if that sounds like something that you would like to watch, then please stick around and watch the shit show unfurl. <laughs> Okay, so first I'll show you what I've got. As you can see, I have not done anything with my face as of yet. I have my moisturizer on, I have my eye cream on, and for those of you who are always like, oh my god, your skin's so great, now you can see the true behind the makeup. <laughs> Anywho, so um, I have all of my favorite makeup products that I would normally use. Now, Christy doesn't do her actual foundation um, before she puts the makeup on. Now, I wasn't going to do this, but I did practice. I used a little bit of this body paint that I bought um, on my arm because I wanted to check and make sure that I wasn't going to break out or wasn't going to cause a rash or anything. And it did stain a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put my foundation on first. Um, and then hopefully the body paint will be okay over top of that. So that's what we're going to do first, but I'll show you what I've got. So I've got all my favorite normal makeup stuff here. Um, I have this really cheap body painting kit that I got on Amazon. It has all of these different colors in it. I have a bunch of different brushes. And I bought this super cheap um, eyeshadow palette. It's this one it was on Amazon. It actually looks a lot like the James Charles palette. Fudge nuggets. Oh my God, it's slippery. Anyways, so this is, I'll probably use a lot of like these colors, some of the browns. We'll see what I need. I don't know. Okay. So, and then I have this little plastic lid. See, they're not only good for plants. You can use them for paints. Actually, I used to own my own craft business way back when. And plastic lids from Tupperware or like old margarine containers are the best to use as like mixing palettes or paints. So, I have this. And I've got my little NYX palettes that's more like nudes and stuff like that in case I need any extra browns or shading colors. And, oh, of course I have my lashes, because what's a Christy look without lashes? And I think that's it. I also have a drink here, because I felt like it, I might need a little liquid courage. Who knows? Maybe I won't even post this. But if you're watching it, then I did. So it can't turn out that bad. Can it? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started by just doing my foundation. So, so I am just going to go ahead and use my infallible 24 hour fresh wear by L'Oreal. <laughs> I have my little 
beauty sponge here. And P.S. I am not a makeup person by any means, so I want zero judgments on how I do my makeup. It's like zero. I'm a plant person, not a makeup person. So I've got my little mirror here below. So if I'm looking down, that's why. I'm actually really scared that this stuff, when I tried to wash it off of my arm, when I did the little practice run or whatever, um, it's actually quite difficult to get off. Um, but I don't plan on going anywhere today. So I'm hoping that, that this is okay. Why do we still break out when we're 40? One. <laughs> Seems like it's unfair. I've paid my dues. Many times <laughs> over. So, <clears throat> about this whole painting thing. So, I told you I used to have a craft business. Um, I used to do a lot of painting, but like, toll painting and folk art and that kind of thing. But it's been a really long time since I've actually painted anything. So <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I'm hoping I still have some of my skills. Look, fungus gnat. Beauty tubers don't have fungus gnats. I'm gonna use my instant age rewind eraser. Apparently this is Jeffree Star approved, whatever that means right now. Link. Link. Okay, let that set for a minute. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna do my eyes last because Christy does this like cool eye look at the end of this video. Yeah, I don't remember what color it is. Actually, I should have watched it previous to sitting down and doing it. Like, I watched it last year, but I haven't, like, watched it recently. <laughs> anyway, but I, if I recall correctly, it's this bright, like, orangey eye look. So that's probably going to go really sideways because I absolutely suck at eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Face is set. And I'm hoping that doesn't backfire <laughs> on me. We'll see. This brush first, this is the Sigma Angled Cream Contour Brush. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Cream Color, and this is in the shade M302. On these guys, that would be, this would be good. How are you? Okay, well, <clears throat> um, I am going to go in with the high quality, uh, number, oh god, oh no, oh boy, oh boy, um, number six brush from, from, <laughs> from China. <laughs> The other thing that I found while using these particular eye pencils, no, I just moved my pencil. By using these paints, these body paints, is they don't dry, which I thought was kind of weird. So they just sit there and not dry. So that makes doing shading and, sorry, I'm making a lot of difference. Um, that makes shading a little bit more tricky. Um, so, Chrissy went in with her NYX. I'm gonna go in with this cheap makeup. Um, so I'm just gonna mix it on my palette here. Uh, so I just want to head into the next one. I really don't like how this turned out. I'm hoping that once I get it like shaded and everything, it looks okay. Um, so we're just, we're just going to continue. We're just going to, 
we're just gonna go for it. So Christy does like this feathery one right here. See what Christie's looks like now. Okay, so she's got like one up here that kind of looks like half of a I don't know, like a bird of paradise leaf. I hate this so much. So much. So funny story, I was like, I'll have a leg up because I know what plants look like, like a lot. It doesn't help, even a little bit. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. It looks like a bit of a hot mess, but I think that once I get the shading and the highlights in there and stuff, like it's still gonna look like a hot mess, but <laughs> at least it'll look a little bit more like leaves than what it currently looks like. I also have realized that I have a much larger forehead than Christy because she's got like a tiny little spot left right here, like a little one. And I have this like ginormous, <laughs> ginormous spot left. So I'm gonna have to put like a different leaf in there. It's pretty bad so far, right? Like I wish these would like go further into my hairline. Oh well, it is what it is. Okay, Christy, what you got next girl? She got on the other side. Oh. Okay, let's, let's, let's try that. Oh God, mistakes were made. Oh, but you know what, like Bob Ross says, there's no mistakes. They're just happy little Accidents. Oh my God. <laughs> Bob Ross, I disagree with you. This whole idea may have been one big happy little mistake. Happy little accidents. That's what he calls them. <laughs> A really big happy accident. Oh, Bob. What do you think? <laughs> this is very, very likely the stupidest thing I've ever done. I'm sure it's not. Okay, and then she's got another big, like, wispy leaf. Oh, shit. I mean, shoot. <laughs>
Okay. What do you guys think so far? I think it's okay so far. Now I know it's gonna look, look a lot better once I put all the shading and stuff in. Um, so let's just check it out and see what Christy does next. Started doing YouTube out of just the love of makeup in general, you know, just love sitting down and being artistic. pretty much what I was going for. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a smaller detailed brush and really just deepening this up and making it a lot more um, three-dimensional. Okay, so it looks like she just kind of fills in some gaps. So I do remember at the end of this video, she said she wished she had have kind of like filled in more so there wasn't gaps. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is just fill in some of the gaps so it looks like a more full like jungle um, instead of like individual leaves so let's just go ahead and do that think of this so far it kind of looks like I have a goatee how would I look with a goatee <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna throw one more in right here uh, or should I just bring this up I think I might just bring this up a little So now I'm going to go ahead and just mix up. So I have my, I'm going to have paint everywhere. So I still have quite a bit of this color paint, but I think what I'm going to do is mix a little bit of yellow into it to make like a lighter shade, just so I can do some like highlighting and stuff. Let's see what Christy does next down really well you can layer cream paints on top of it and it layers so beautifully and you can just layer and layer and layer and then really add the dimension in Okay, now I'm going to go in with color 215 Lemon Yellow from Amazon Chi Body Paint. And I think I'm going to leave some of this green just in case I need it. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush, put it over here. And then squeeze just a smidgen. <laughs> I didn't poke a hole in this one yet. There we go. Uh, just squeeze a smidgen of yellow in that. By the way, these paints also smell really weird. So I was kind of creeped out by putting it on my face, but it's all for you guys. Okay, so now I've got, this is the original color. And now I've got this lighter green that I'm just kind of going to, kind of going to go in and do some detail work with. Oh, Guys, I have paint like all over my desk. <laughs> it's a problem. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to use this small flat brush. This really high-end paintbrush kit didn't come with like 
an angled brush so I just kind of have to get creative with it so I'm gonna use this number four brush from Amazon starting to get some shade some highlight going on this one turned into a big old hot mess but we can probably lighten that up I think this would be a lot easier if I had paint that I was able to layer. But we work with what we've got and honestly, I mean, I'm probably not gonna use this paint like all that often. So I'm not gonna go out and spend like a crap ton of money on it. How are we looking guys? What do you think? Sometimes it's good to have a giant forehead because it gives you a big palette to paint on. <laughs> it's like the only good thing. So Christy does a lot of this part with the eyeshadows and I'm not overly sure that I can. It legit looks like I have a weird beard thing going on. Anyway, um, I'm not sure I can do it with the shadows with this paint, like not drying down, but, um, I think I'm going to do some of the highlights and color first to give it a little bit of texture. And then, I don't know, I might try going in with like a white or something. Um, and then we'll do the shading and that kind of thing with the eyeshadow. So... Yeah, let's do that okay I've got some white some light brown and some dark brown and I'm just gonna go in and kind of add some texture um, to the leaves that need texture <sighs> or at least I'm gonna try okay so for this I'm gonna use my number two brush it is a little bit longer and a little bit more fine of a point and I'm hoping <laughs> that it's gonna work so let's just do it
I may have just really screwed that one up. If my hair would stop falling in it, that would be great. Good enough. I really screwed up that leaf. P.S. <laughs> My baby hairs are screwing all of them up. Like, the more I do, the worse that it gets. <sighs> Have you guys watched Jenna Marbles? Jenna talks, always talks about having a too much gene when she's doing, like, crafts and stuff. I have that. It's like, oh, that looks good. But if you just add this, try this, do this. And then the more you do, like the worse it gets, then you go into this panic and then you try to fix it. And then it's like, oh, it's like eyeliner. When you try to do a wing liner and then you screw up a little bit. So you go a little further and then you go a little further. And next thing you know, you have these massive, like chunky, like <laughs> you do it too. I know it. This stuff smells like rubber <laughs> it's probably not good for me to put on my face to be honest okay how are we feeling about this so far do you guys think this is the most ridiculous thing i've ever done because i think you might be right but you know what it's okay to have fun sometimes and i wanted to try something that Raw Beauty Christie did, because she's the shiznit. And it's plants on my face. Not good ones. <laughs> okay. Well. I'm not super jazzed about it. So it's not really how I want it to look, but I think, um, I mean, the more I just mess with it, the more the paint's all going to mush together. Maybe one of these days I'll buy a real decent, good body paint and um, try this again. So I'm just going to go in and do like shading behind the leaves and stuff like that. And um, yeah. Okay. So I am going to, I think Christy used something between here and here. So I'm just kind of going to use those ones and just do some shading so it looks like the leaves are like on my face and not like embedded in my face. Let's hope that turns out. All right, 
I'm gonna go ahead and finish shading like this and I will be right back. Okay, <clears throat> I think I've got about as much shading done as I can. Um, <gasps> I don't have good body paint. I don't have good eyeshadow. I tried to smoke out the shading as best I could, but this is what we've got. So, I think Christy's on to eyes, let's check. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do my eyes really fiery, so I'm gonna go in with all these shades up here. Oh, so she's and going like, kind of like reds and oranges. Okay, orange color into the crease, okay. Um, I'm gonna use my makeup brushes and really hope that I don't get green paint on them. I wonder if I should, I'm just gonna take that back just a little. This is crazy, but I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun watching. I know this is a little insane. <laughs> We're all gonna laugh at me when this doesn't come off my face. I'll, I'll laugh for like half a second <laughs> and then I'll be really upset. Kind of like this color. So this is going to be awful. I'm just warning you now. I have hooded eyes, so this is not going to, this is not going to come out well. I don't know, Christy, did it look like yours? I'm not good at this. I feel like this is a millennial thing and not a 41 year old lady sort of thing. My dog's looking at me because he has to go pee. Sorry. So I'm just gonna let him out and Try not to let any of the neighbors see me and I will be right back. Okay, I got the orange down, Christy. Now what? I feel like I oh, she goes in darker. Eyes. Maybe a yellow. Okay, so I would never, ever right, do this normally and this is going to look terrible. So it looks like she kind of goes in with maybe like this shade. I think it's this shade. Sorry, this one. So we're gonna we're gonna try that one. <laughs> oh, she she don't she don't went under her eye too. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, Christy didn't go in the center. <laughs> this is wild. I feel like Christy also has like these young, like non wrinkly, movable eyelids and stuff. Like every time she does an eye look, it just looks so good. And then when I try to do it, it ends up looking muddy and disgusting. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> Somebody definitely should have talked me out of this. I feel like hers doesn't look like that. What is, 
I just, I got a little, like... <laughs> Grissy, help me! Well, okay. She has way less under her eyes. I think. And then she puts yellow. Okay. Hey, Christy, if you ever see this, not that you will. I'm sorry. <laughs> I tried. What is she doing now? Oh. I mean, I'm looking at the screen, and I look at my face, and I was like, yeah, it kind of looks the same, but yet somehow hers looks, like, way better. Okay. What are you doing next? All right, now I'm going to toss in a pair of lashes. I have no idea what these lashes are whatsoever. But I'm just going to pop these on real quick, and then we will be back to finish up the face. All right. Okay, she put, like, eyeliner and lashes on. Okay. So I guess I'm going to do that off camera because that's what Christy did. And then I'll be right back. Hold on. Did I do it like Christy? I always have problems with this inner corner on my lashes. Drives me mental. Whatever. It's not like I'm leaving this on. Okay. Let's see what Christy does next. Oh, okay, so she's kind of bringing some of the lighter color into you know what? I think I need a few freckles. her this, like this cheeky nose area. Okay. Oh, freckles. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, um, I thought we were done with all that. Christy, I thought we were done with that. Um, okay, I need a fluffier brush for this one. I think she goes too dark, so maybe if I kind of take like this orange with like this color maybe. Let's just try it. Let's just try it. Okay, and then Christy does freckles, so let's let's do freckles. Um, I have this like really fine tipped from this company that I've never heard of before. I don't even know if they actually look like freckles. They just look like somebody splattered paint on my face. Oh wait, they did. Okay. There's like a green streak right there. Okay. What do you do next, Miss Christy? Do a bit of highlight and this is the Ofra the glow up palette highlighter a little bit of highlighter okay um i think i actually have that ofra highlighter cool all right i'm gonna use that same brush I guess this is the finished look.
Am I doing this right? Do I need to help? So let me know what you think. This is like a little crazy. Um, this is not the huge Nikki content, but I just thought this would be something fun to do. And um, so now I have hair stuck to my face. I think the eyes turned out not too shabby. I'm not used to like bright colors on my eyeballs. Anyway, if you liked this, I know it was out in left field. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. I'm sure there's going to be some thumbs down on this video because it's not really planty. I mean, like it is. But you know what? This is my channel and um, this is what I wanted to do. So this is what I'm doing. Anywho. I want to thank you all for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, this isn't my normal content. <laughs> Plants are my normal content. Please go ahead and hit subscribe. It is a huge help to me uh, and my channel, and I really do appreciate it. So with that, I will say have a great day, night, week, month, and year. I love you all the bitty bits, and I will see you in the next one. turn out like a show shit fuck <laughs> it could be cool it could keep fuck